I think that looks good. This is this is a lot of work, man. <laughs> it really is. It's uh it's more work than you might think trying to get this all to come together correctly. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to get to work on our base here. Uh, so this will probably be primarily, if not entirely, a building episode. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is let's get the front porch fixed up. Um, we replaced the, the block in the corner here with the rough cut stone block, so we're just going to finish that all the way across there. And uh, then I think we'll work on the sides of the house and kind of getting this mess cleaned up down here. Um, also, let's go ahead and just take these out right now because they don't work. They don't allow me to plant anything in them, which is kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And maybe we'll see if we can uh, rebuild those. I don't know. Can we even make um, garden planters, doors, fences? Du -du 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 -du. If anybody could do that, it well, it'd either probably be the carpenter or Emily. I've ne oh, uh, no, seed bed. Never mind. That's where we make the seeds in. Miscellaneous scarecrows. She can make a bunch of flower pots, which is kind of neat. Oven almanac. Farm soil. Yeah, it doesn't look like she can make anything like that. What about you? All right, wooden buckets, secret doors, ladders, fences, fences. Nope. Clutter, dishes, shelves, cupboards, windows, doors, miscellaneous. Wall decorations, bathroom chairs, beds, fireplaces. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything from him. I can't imagine the hunter would be able to make anything like that. Fences. Back cauldron. Hmm. All right. So maybe, um, maybe you can't make those. I've, I, I guess I've never tried to make them before. Um, I mean, if nothing else, we could, you know, we can just build a, just plant a garden right in the ground over here, which would be fine too. You know, kind of like what we have down there. Um, we'll have to think about that. Okay, well, anyways, let's go ahead and grab our hammer. Looks like I got some stuff in my inventory from before. And we want the rough cut stone block, which is weathered. Here, rough, roughly cut stone block. I'm going to put a couple of these things away here. All right, so let's go ahead and get to work on this. I'm just trying to think of how I'm going to do it. I don't mind the ivy on the outside. I think we'll try and keep that in place. What we might end up needing to do... In this section here, All right here, let's get I'm trying to think of where it starts and stops. Uh, you know what we replace, I think maybe right here. And we might be able to get away with just shaving the, the top part off here. I want to be careful uh, with this that I don't uh, cut something away that I don't intend to. We'll go one more back. Okay. Okay. 
Now let's switch to two meter and go to these guys. Uh, take snapping off. Try it from this angle. There we go. Oh, I just had it there a second ago. Now, did that mess things up in here at all? No, not really. I think it's okay. That takes care of that section. This section here. Let's just cut down. Okay, and then there and there. And I think that gets us... No, we still need one more block. <laughs> I just want to remove all of the original blocks or as many as possible in case they cause us problems with, like, the grass floating through and that kind of thing. Now, we'll go to two meter and we'll fill that in and bring that back one more there. Everything looks okay inside here. Good. And then we'll just it's so hard to see. Uh, I think that's right. <laughs> All right, now let's shave off the top of these blocks. Whoops. And we'll go to the small block here. And we need to get this rubble out of there. Like we needed to do that, did we? Eh, it doesn't matter. We'll leave it there. Back to two meter. Actually, we could probably do a, a four meter in here. Push it back one. There. Me likey. <laughs> Looks so much cleaner. So this has um, some timbered pieces. Why is that one turned the other way? I think that's shroud wood too, that it's using. Okay, let's switch to shroud wood. Go here. really weird. Okay, if we go all the way back to there, what if we grab this piece here, rotate it like that, put it in like that, and then <laughs> I 
Nope. It's going to do what it's going to do. What the hell? Is it, uh... Okay, what if I cut it from this side? Hmm. All right, let's take that block out. Now if we cut it, okay. Now it's the right way. Is it gonna stay that way though, is the question. Nope. <laughs> Damn it, Jim. Oh man. Does it have something to do with the block below it maybe? All right, well, I guess that's one of those things that's out of our control. I don't know what to do about that. Let's keep working on getting the rest of the porch fixed here. Now, if I try to go here and do this... And then remove it. Mm, I don't know if I want to do that because it because then if I rebuild this beam here what if it does the crazy thing too of course then it would at least it would be symmetrical on both sides wouldn't it hmm Undo that. Remove that. No, remove that. Okay. Well, that had the desired effect on this side anyway. Now, let's um, go up here and I want all of you out of here as well. back another section here um Jesus the camera angles piss me off in this game for building <laughs> I think we need to go back one more oh we could look down here I suppose too Well, do we though? You know, the thing is, is yeah, this crap's got to come out too. I don't want ivy on the porch. It can be on the walls, but not on the porch itself. I'm going back farther than I need to. I think all of that was... No, that's got to... Yeah, that part's got to go. We'll do that piece for good measure. Okay, and then basically all of this has to go too. Sun is like glaring in our eyes now. Okay, um... Let's go to one of uh, the single blocks. And I just want to get this. I want to get it back all the way to the wall, essentially. It's just a little odd how some of that stuff. Um, oh, okay. I guess I got that piece. Let's just get rid of all of this shit, too. Alright, that beam 
there is supposed to be there. I think that's just part of the support of the floor. So if we go to here, grab you, and then get you to... See, I can't see again. My guy's in the way. Go there, and then... Okay, that fixes that that spot let's get the rest of this rubble out of the way here you know i might i might re i might remove this walkway down into there and put it around the side instead. It's just a weird place to have a walkway, right? On the porch where you, you know, where you go up to get on the porch. All right, we need to sleep because I uh, can't see what the hell I'm doing. Okay, so it looks like in the dark, I accidentally... took the beam out somewhat so I need to be up above the beam uh, um yeah like that okay good 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 um I can get out of the basement on that side for the for the time being. So yeah, let's just remove this altogether. I'm gonna also get that out of there. Just so it's all level. <clears throat> Okay, so the only thing I didn't clean up is this section here. I may, may, may not have needed to, but I'm going to do it anyway, just, just in case. There's just some odd stuff going on around here. It's like that floor was sticking out too far or something. If we... Do this. Oh, no, not that. And then... Oh. No, gotta switch back to this block here. Okay. Uh, one there, too. Okay, so that gets that consistent. There's still some weird shit going on here. Um... If we take that out and then put those in. <laughs> this whole pillar needs to be redone too. And all that mess needs to be cleaned up. But don't think we're going to work on that today. Well, the basement's going to be its own episode, probably. Okay, so let's start rebuilding all of this now. And I think what I'll do is... Start with this, just so we... Are at the... I don't actually put things at the wrong level. I'm going to have to redo it all. Yeah, that works. Come on. 
get in there. Yeah, I'm just having such a hard time with the lighting and the camera angles doing all of this, man. There's a little piece of rubble there. Do we have to break that piece first? Yeah. Okay, so it was coming off of the existing block. And that's, <clears throat> here again, that's why I want to in most cases, remove the existing blocks because the ivy and the rubble and all that stuff is attached to them. This ivy is fine. I, I like the ivy on the, you know, on the on the pillars there, and even up on the house there, it looks cool. I'm okay with that. All right, now let's see if we can. Get some big pieces going here. All right, that looks good from down below. As does that. Let's see what it looks like from up above. Is there... Okay, hold on. Is that supposed to be an overhang? It, it, I don't think it is, because there isn't one on this side. I'm talking about this chunk of wall that's right behind the the kiln here. I'll bet you I did that at one point when I was trying to mess with stuff in there. Yeah, that's that's not supposed to be there. Okay, here. Well, let's finish. Let's finish this part first. Now, somehow or another, we have a chunk of ivy that's down there. Will that disappear? Hmm. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's get the hammer out. Wrong two bar. There we go. And let's switch to this. Uh -oh. Camera angle. Let's try it from here. I believe that's correct. And this should come back to here as well. It's like the edge of the house. Okay. So that gets that border in. Now, will this disappear? Um, okay, yeah, this, we got to get it kind of like that. That's right. Yeah, I believe so. All right, then we'll fill in the, the gaps here. Let's go with the two meter one of these guys.
pull it back one. I had it there. Uh, out one. No, that that'll work. We just have that little hole there to fill in. That looks good. This is this is a lot of work, man. <laughs> it really is. It's uh it's more work than you might think trying to get this all to come together correctly. Alright, let's switch that back to these blocks and flip them this way. Alright, I think that takes care of the top of the porch. Now, let's do this. Got a couple of loose pieces floating in the air. Is there any way to... Yeah, you can do that. That gets rid of them. Nice. Now, for all this rubble shit that's down here. I'd like to kind of keep the clutter in here because it's... It's cool looking. Um, can we go with... A big foundation block here. Move it there and there and there. Put it in. Remove it. To clear that corner. So I, I just want to get the walls in the corner here. All right. And then let's go to you and put the clean block in. Except for I need to go one more that way. There. Good. It looks like that this is a double wall or a two wide wall. All right. So then let's switch to the wall piece. And if we put that in there and then remove it just to clear out the rubble and then pull it back here, put it in, remove it. Let's do that exercise again a little further back. In, remove. In, remove. So that cleans up that should clean up all the rubble that was associated with those blocks that was attached to it, I should say. And can we just push some of that crap back too? some of that back. No, I want this wall here again. But let's drop it down. To clear the Bottom one, same thing here. Just to get rid of all this crack down here. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go along and cut that down. Except for that it goes down two blocks. I don't really want it to go down two blocks. Can we go do it like this instead? I know this 
might seem like it's unnecessary, but I don't think that it is unnecessary because here again, if I don't remove the original blocks that have the rubble attached to it, it could show up again later, and that's not what we want. Okay, we'll go back that far. Right now, I'm only really concerned about this front corner. Uh, we're not going to like be doing this whole wall or anything like that right now. Okay. So now, if we go back to the four meter walls... What we're going to need to do is... Uh, what are we looking at here? Let's fill this back in. So that it's level. All right, and let's go ahead and put that in, and then we'll also fill this part in here if we can get it to go where I want it to. That's good enough for now. And then just... Uh, nope. Single blocks. <clears throat> okay. So that gives us a clean corner here. Now let's go back to four meter. Flip this around and put that there and that there. Go to two meter. Actually, no, you know what I think we can do is stay on four meter and just do this. And the cool thing about when you do that, for those of you who don't know, is that the game does, it only costs you the amount of stone it takes to fill in the, the gap there. So it's pretty cool how it works. All right. Um... I think that this, that probably the foundation is too wide all the way around. Yeah, because, because I cleaned out two sections here. It's just kind of hard to tell because of all the muckety muck going on over here but it wouldn't really make sense for the front of the foundation to be too wide and not the side foundation oh <laughs> I need to push that in one okay yeah, that's what we want okay So that gets that corner fixed the way that we want it. Now what we should be able to do is just go to these uh, two meter blocks here. Uh, no, sorry. These two meter blocks. And just fill this in.
All right. That cleans up the porch. My goodness, that was a lot of work. <laughs> I figured we'd knock that out in like, you know, 10, 15 minutes, but uh, we've been recording for 42 minutes. Uh, but we got it done. Oh, right. We were going to fix this weirdness here because here again. Uh, well, hold on, though. See, that side of the house has that protruding loft. Which is actually sort of kind of an odd thing to have on a house. That's more like what you'd expect on a barn or a warehouse. This side does not. Hmm. Maybe that is supposed to be there. But if it is, it would make sense for it to go all the way down to the to the floor. Um, I'm not planning on keeping this stuff out here on the porch permanently anyways. Is that actually supposed to be there? It just looks weird. Oh, I've got an idea. I'm going to log into my Season 1 game <clears throat> and run out here and take a quick look at it. Alright guys, uh, we're coming in on our Hunter from Season 1. To take a look and see... Okay, so that, that was indeed there as a part of the build. All right, that's good to know. Okay, so that is correct. Yes, it is. Um, I think what I want to do for the rest of this episode is... we got to fix the upper part of the house. Um... I'm afraid we're probably going to have to remove this entire floor and replace it with clean blocks um, just to get rid of the rubble. If I, as an experiment here, see, I can't, I don't think I can break that. What about this stuff? Yeah, I can get some of it out of the way. I think if I... Yeah, see, it's not going to get go any further than that. Get rid of that guy. And this one, too. Get out of my house. They're going, what do you mean? This this was our house. Just come, Just because I'm a skeleton now doesn't mean I still don't own the house. That's what they were saying. This needs to go. Anything that's broken. Guess I could just dismantle that stuff then. It picks up the... the wood. Got a little loft up here with a chest. All right, probably the last time we loot that chest. The smoke's coming up through the fireplace. That's cool. I haven't actually been up here to look around for a bit. This is the bathroom.
Oh, you know what? I'll bet that was... Was that going towards our rested? No, it wasn't, because it's still at 24. Well, what I want want to do is... I want to set down a couple of higher level things just so we get better rested bonus. Um, it's not going to necessarily at all be the final arrangement, but um, this bed gives us six comfort. And uh, so let's make this. Is that... That's the best bed we can make, right? I think so, as far as comfort goes. That's a five comfort bed, and I'm sorry, but the idea of a stone bed does not sound comfy to me. So... Let's make this. Okay. So we're going to need some nails. Got nails there. We're going to need some palm wood. String. Straw. Really? We're using straw on the best bed in the game? What the hell? Green fabric. We have one piece of that already that we looted at some point. And then four fabric. Fabric. Uh, let's just go pull whatever out of whatever's in the loom. piece of crap. Oh, we have to craft it first. <laughs> or I should say we have to have him craft it first. Okay, let's snap it and rotate it. Uh, oop. There we go. Okay, we just went to... We went to comfort level 19. Isn't that where we already were, though? Hmm, that didn't seem to change much. Okay. Um... What are some other major things we could put down that will increase our comfort significantly? That's a five comfort table. All of these are five comfort tables. Did these count as separate comfort thingies or not, I wonder? And I, I thought, uh, oh, actually, hold on. Never mind. Scratch that thought. Okay, we need resin. All right, we'll craft that. Let's go put that in here in the kitchen. Maybe we'll put it... Uh, I might actually end up rebuilding that corner and this here too, just because it's the wrong stuff. Uh, so let's put this right here. Remove snapping. Okay, that bumped us up to comfort level 23. Now, if we make this... And put it over here. Okay, so that does count as a different... But I, what I don't think we can do is I don't think we can make five of these same exact pieces and have them count... For comfort, I think only the first one counts. But as long as it's something different, then you can do that. Okay, so that needs lapis. That needs lapis and tin glass. Remember, I don't have my magic chest set up yet. I mean, I got these two, but I haven't done anything with them yet. So that's why I got to go grab all this shit. Let's make that guy and that guy. Okay, we'll put this big table 
right here underneath that shelf. That. Okay, wait a minute. That didn't. That didn't change our comfort level. Oh, okay. Maybe it's because this is a table and that's a table. But this is more like a nightstand. I don't know. That's weird. All right. Well, we made it. And it was expensive as hell, so we're putting it there. What we really probably should do is get rid of this and put the big banquet table in the middle here. But... All right. Well, let's... um. Where's this other table? Let's grab this guy. Put you right here for now. Yep, that didn't change it either. Okay, so apparently this piece, this piece, and this piece all count as towards your comfort, but this piece is treated differently. Okay, so for fireplace. That gives us a comfort level of four. Uh, we need five bronze bars and 20 fire brick. But where in the hell are we going to put this, though? Um, it's a damn good question. Is there a place upstairs that it, that might <clears throat> make sense to set down? I mean, we got this fireplace here. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't know where we would put that. Okay, let's hold off on that. The sand throne gives seven comfort. We need to make one for the comfort. I suppose we could stick maybe a fireplace out in the warehouse or one of the other outbuildings eventually. It does seem kind of weird though. Oh, we never put we never put these guys back. Let's do that because I'm running out of inventory space. Okay, so you want sandstone, iron bars, uh, where's iron bars? These are iron bars. Uh, four charcoal, seven amber, and a padding. This would be so much easier if I just set up all my storage first and, you know, made them all magic s storage. So I'm not trying to find all this stuff. And I would know if I have it or not, you know? Yeah, I guess I'm out of amber. Okay. Tell you what we're going to do then. We're going to go ahead and wrap things up here. And I am going to get my, my storage set up uh, as a magic storage. So that way... When we go to make stuff, we'll know exactly what we have and what we don't have, and we won't have to, you know, fish through it and put it in the inventory first and all that kind of stuff. So the plan for the next building project is we're going to we're going to work on the upstairs. Uh, we're going to fix all of the broken walls and the corners and all that. We're going to replace this floor entirely with clean wood blocks to get rid of all the the rubble. And then we'll continue working on, you know, the comfort level of the home. We also have to do, got to get all of this crap cleaned out of here and smoothed out and looking good. And I'll probably go get some um, flower blocks, uh, which we can actually just get right over by the church there. And do some flower beds. This has to come out of here. That's not supposed to be there. Um, I might 
I don't know. I might leave the back porch as it is because I'm not necessarily planning on using it for anything. We'll see. And all this has to get cleaned out and smoothed out too. So that's kind of what's coming up uh, in the next episode. All right, well, not necessarily the next episode, but the next building episode. And uh, yeah, so we'll go from there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.